Hello, and welcome back to Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. I'm Rosa. And I'm still Sharon. <laughs> I think I need to say my name first next time. Maybe. Because it's too much. Does it but seem to know. bother you? No, it's like oh. I announce it and I, and I put myself last. I think I need to put myself first. Oh, you time. want top billing now? You know, anyway. <laughs> um, thank you all. <laughs> Thank you all who are joining us again for another episode. If you are new to our channel, please like, subscribe, and share these videos with your friends, family, or whoever you feel uh, would enjoy them as much as you do. Mm -hmm. um, also, 21% of the viewers are not subscribers. So if you all want to just hit that subscribe button, that would be great. Right, exactly. We would exactly. love to have you as a subscriber. Um, and be right. able to shout you out. We'd like for you to look, you know, and exactly. uh, but you need to subscribe. But and also, you know, you look at us when you feel like it. You exactly. say I'm in the mood for some Sharon and Rosa. Right. Excuse you can me. Binge watch Excuse me, Rosa and Sharon. And Sharon. That part. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have issues too. Yeah. So <laughs> let's get into our uh, announcements. You have any announcements? Mm, uh, yes, that the next time you see us, we will have a definite date for us going live for the second time. All I can say yes. that it will be obviously close to the holidays, but we do have to do a little, a few more logistics and everything. So right, next it won't time. be in the next two, three weeks because I'm traveling. I won't be back for a while. Um, so definitely, maybe in December sometime. November yeah. is already out. Enough. You're so, right. So you're um, right. But we and things change, them. right? Yeah. And things change, you yeah. know. So, so a little holiday version one, you know, where me with my Santa hat on, I'll try to talk Sharon into putting something on, just come to y'all a little different. That'll be cute, right? Ho okay. ho. <laughs> there you go. That's that's what you get. Ho ho. Anyway, we will definitely <laughs> give you all a um, a date on that. Yes. So yes. stay tuned. We love going live last time. We love the um support we got from you all and you know oh, the just questions. The uh, love. It, it, yeah, yes. all of that. It was, it was wonderful. wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my only announcement is thank you all for um for the ones who uh wish me well and you know, healthy recovery. I feel so much better. Last week I felt like um it was like our vent type show in a sense but we wanted to at least let you all know to pay attention to your health too but uh, but thank you for letting me vent and um you know just getting out uh getting the word out as to what was going on with me yeah i yeah. appreciate every that. day is a wonderful day but some days are a little challenging and she <laughs> had a week of you know that oh gee it's my gallbladder oh you're going to take it out right now right. uh be right back. <laughs> right, right. I, I'm not good with surprises. Don't, no. don't surprise me. I'm going to need you to schedule something so I can yeah. figure it out. Yeah. I can figure out where I want to come or not. You know what they say, uh, life happens when you're planning something else. Absolutely. Right. That's it right there. But, um, all right. Let's get into the shout outs. Um, all right. <laughs> Our first shout out goes to Riri. Riri, thank you for being a subscriber to Conversations with Sharon and Rosa. Mm. Um, next, we have Natalie H., a.k.a. my cousin from Connecticut. My cousin. My cousin. Z-I-N. Exactly, that part. Because <laughs> I love you. Thank you for being a subscriber to our channel. Appreciate you. I will call you soon. Um, and last but not least is Christine T. We haven't heard from you, Christine, right. um, in any comments, but we do appreciate you being a subscriber, but just hit us up, say hello. I'm here. I'm still watching and I still love y'all because we love you. <laughs> okay. You. Um, yeah. So that is it for the shout outs. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to go a little different this week yeah we can go a lot talk different. about a little something something so today's topic is Ooh. your wife wants a threesome you don't so your wife wants a threesome but, but you, you don't. don't what is up with that mm. so let me put this disclaimer out so you know sharon and i are not professionals as you all know this is just for entertainment we don't give any advice so if y'all having threesomes and doing that feel free that's mm -hmm. up to you 
Um, and this topic didn't technically come because we want a threesome. Right. Although we have <laughs> talked about that and we'll get into it a little bit a little bit later. But um yeah, so we just wanted to put that disclaimer. And I say threesome, I think her, me and a doctor. <laughs> think I'm so witty. Okay, but yeah, but on with the show. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Hey. So yeah, so we'll talk about that. You want to dive into mm-hmm. your wife want a threesome mm-hmm. or your partner oh. or your spouse. Or whoever your, that. you know, your usual love connection is. Exactly. And, and also I would like to say, hey, um, no judgment, just conversation. Absolutely. Okay, and that's what Rose and I do. I mean, because sometimes interesting things come across our mind as I, uh, as 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 um, just all kind of things, you know, like oh, I never thought you thought like that, or when did that come up? And we handle it as it comes in, you know. It's all it all starts with a conversation, even with some crazy out the wall, like you want to do what? You want to go where? You know? Yeah. And uh, we talk about it, yeah. you know. And like I say, no judgment, you know, because everyone has a right to their, you know, one that everyone has their own voice. Everyone has a right to their opinion, and what turns you on, uh, makes you happy, make you smile, whatever, is off, often very different from what does, you know, that turns your partner on. Right, right. right. So some people enjoy three sons and some don't, you know, right. and I think our conversation came up with me just asking Sharon if she ever had one, and this was, you know, years ago, like, the beginning when we first of got our, together. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and so we had talked about that, but we actually shared that on another video. Right, and, of, of and my reply was simply was, come on, babe, it was the, the 70s, it was the 80s, it was the 90s. <laughs> So what could I say other than uh, I'm a a free-loving spirit and uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, (laughs) uh, um, But that was then. This is now. I feel very, very differently about it. And then I think uh, Rosa, oh, I should feel different. No, I'm just saying we we grow and we we mature and see different views. And not saying that that was immaturity, but we we grow in different ways and at different times. So uh, I ain't poo-poo or nothing. You know, it's just that, you know, we're living our lives and some people just make different decisions. Yeah. Okay, as simple as that. So, uh, but before we go any further, let's operationally define what a threesome is. Uh, <laughs> usually it's, it's two, you know, those two partners and who have invited a, um, what do I call it? I call it a guest lover. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so you, you, you two have invited a guest lover uh, to be with you to, uh, for sexual, you know, games, fun, and, and excitement. So yes. um, so saying that, you know, you know, some people are like, you know, oh, I've never done a threesome. Oh, hell, maybe I have. That's what y'all calling that? Yeah, well, that's what we're calling that. You did a threesome. Yeah, exactly. It was your boo and... <laughs> A really good friend <laughs> absolutely who was oh so curious so you know so that's what a, a threesome is why do we do it why do people have threesomes well I think a lot of it goes with what our our you know conversation is today like maybe a partner may want it and maybe another partner don't or and I think when you are um, in a relationship I think it's healthy to explore uh, what your partner may want, even though your feelings about it may not be the best. Um, but it, when it comes to threesomes for me in a relationship, there are some pros and cons, some big pros and cons. And we'll get into some of those, um, in a few. Whoa, but, whoa, whoa. You almost lost me. Hold on. So you saying that you have done a, a threesome before I, and, I, and, and, and we, we, we've talked about that. Right. Right. Years and ago. Have, yeah, look, years ago. Oh, and yeah. only one. Before okay. my First marriage, first right. of all. Okay, all right. Way, all right. way. Many well, years I just want to, I just want to fill it in for them. Yeah, yeah. But you I, know, I, was, I, was I mean, because if not, they say, like, "Rose is still doing threesomes," and Sharon don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. I haven't had one. No, no. Well, I, I had one. Okay, I had one with uh, a woman and a man. Okay, and right. me. Mm-hmm. I hadn't had any with with just all three females. Correct. Right. Exactly. So, okay. So, so that part I have. So not. we have, but, and I'm okay with exploring that. If my wife is willing. <laughs> Whoa, we don't rehearse, sweetie. Hold on. I'm going to need a minute. <laughs> but I'm just saying, if I put that on my bucket list to say, hey, babe, I want to do this, and she's not really um, 
willing to do it, then then that could be kind of one of the the cons of the relationship because it's like you want something you know, that your partner right, doesn't want right, to, right. and 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 how and, do you get past that as a as a you know does those feelings as just an go partner, away? Right, right. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like you you have to have this conversation, and I think the conversation has to deal with okay. Uh, scenarios. If this happens afterwards, because it's gonna be feelings involved, is an extra person involved, especially if it's a friend. I suggest get somebody y'all don't know. So here we okay. So not that we're giving advice, but I hear exactly. what you're saying based on your experience and your knowledge of it. Right. I, I hear what you're saying. So right. again, not you know I'm not poo pooing anything. So I'm I I will say that it could be the best fun you've ever had, or it could be. Uh, the door opening to the demise of your relationship. Correct. Why do I say that? Because things happen. We are women, and I'm talking to my lesbian community and beyond, but definitely for the lesbians, you know, we are women. Right. Women have feelings. We show our feelings. We, we love with our hearts and everything else attached to it. Yeah. Okay? Um, doing a, I do think there is a risk, an emotional risk, several risks that come into play when you deal, you decided to have a threesome. And as you just said, sweetheart, it was just like, hey, um, maybe uh, your partner may be more ready to go with it than you are. Or oh, I only said, yeah, because she really wanted to. Or she right. really wanted to, and then I think she did some things I never seen her do before, more or less to do it with someone else. Right. And to find excitement, joy, satisfaction with it. Um, there's so many things that can go terribly wrong. Or y'all just miss your mark. You know, like we thought we were going to have fun. This was going to be an exciting weekend, something we've never done before together. And it turned out less than wonderful right. for so many reasons. So why do people ha have threesomes? Um, they're looking for something that they don't have now. Now, yes, you can have joy, fun, excitement with your with your partner, but you want to uh, you want to crank it up a notch mm -hmm. or whatever. You know, you want to put some red pepper on it that weekend. And let's say you both are okay with the idea of it. The next question is who? Right. Who do you both have in your life? Maybe in her life or maybe in your life. You know that y'all would trust bringing them into your your intimate sanctums. Absolutely. You know and that's ooh. where. You know the conversations you may want to have prior to. Don't just like, oh, isn't it a great idea? We invite so and so on, and da 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 da. Like, if you invite so and so, what what is the risk for that person? Because like, is it a friend? It, it, the the friendship changes. How do you act around that person now when everybody at the cookout? Mm -hmm. You know, you feel like <laughs> she might have said something to somebody. Now they looking at y'all crazy. Like when? it's just a lot that can happen. Look, not just yeah. with that friend, but with you two as a couple because Absolutely. now you're all looking at each other. How you act around this person? Like, okay, why is she all extra close while I'm not there? You know what I'm saying? They are they sneaking behind my back doing something? Like, you get all of these. Right, I said okay to, yeah. to the first thing, but I, but now right. now I think they tipping and dipping. Right, uh, right. So it, it's just a lot. So you all have to have those conversations. Like, okay, is this gonna be one time, or are we gonna invite so and so in here um, if they're willing each time, or if that person is okay with coming once a month, but then they get a, a partner, does it stop? Like, you, it's just a lot, a Ooh, lot, Lord, a lot. y'all done opened it up, yeah. Because just having this threesome sounds great and mm -hmm. sounds fun and can be, mm -hmm. but when you're in a serious relationship, um, I think it just causes a lot of distrust. It, well, it, it can, not with all, but for many it yeah. does. And remember, we're women. Right. We're women. Women, you, you know, I'm not putting us all in the same... Uh, pond, but I'm just saying, you know, we usually love differently. Absolutely, you know, than than others. All right, so, um, so, hmm, what do you do? Okay. You know, okay. yeah, you know, yeah, decided to have that special weekend together, and I'm gonna tell you, you know, I don't think, I think it changes many things on many on on different levels, but you can never not do it now. Right. Meaning the event has happened. You can never, uh, you know, put the genie back in the bottle. Right. You to say, well, we ain't doing it no more, but you did it once. 
Exactly. And once was enough to tear the scab off. You know what I mean? Or what my friends say, you have released the Kraken. <laughs> you have truly released the Kraken. And and if that's not your intent, of course it's not, because you wanted to have fun, and maybe your wife wanted to do it more than you, and you think you're free thinking and forward and and and, and hip and all that. And you you know three months later you just like I cannot believe that I was okay with this. Yeah. Now our whole the whole dynamics of our relationship has changed. Yeah. And that that's a lot to contend with. You know, it it, yeah. it, 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 it then, truly is. Well, didn't you have one in a serious relationship? You were in a serious yeah, relationship? Yeah, uh, yes, I've, I've had one outside of relationships. I've had uh, one inside the relationship. I had one just for the fun of it. Well, inside the relationship, how, did it change your dynamics of... Yes. You, your, see, that's yeah, what yeah, saying. very, very yeah. much so. Matter of fact, it even uh, unraveled us for different reasons because, one... I wasn't being totally honest. And what, you know, when somebody said, well, isn't the first time? Oh, that's a big key, too. Oh, 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 oh. That's uh, a big key, too. Don't die lying or trying. <laughs> <laughs> It'll no, get you killed. that's a good but, point but, because mm-hmm. if you enjoy it a lot and, you know, afterwards it's like, do I need to, do I want to tell my partner how much I really enjoyed this or just kind of play it down? Like, I yeah. just think you have to go in being honest, being, you know, you're just laying it all on the line. If you've never done that before, you have to, because it, it's hmm. just going to be too much Sharon, You know, like she was saying, she wasn't truthful I wasn't with everything honest, right. one, and because, because you like the other woman more. Right. Right? Not only had, uh, not only did I uh, like her differently because I'm not gonna say you know people in my in my case you know as I, I'm asking the question is still on the on the um, on the table which is you know, why do people do it um, I was being extremely vain full of myself uh, the ego out my ego was in overdrive you know if you can do one why can't you do two hell send the twins in no you know just way just too much I was just too much out there. And uh, do I regret it? No. But what I am um, saddened about when I look at my own history is that I did those things started it. It's what threaded things. Uh, though me and one of the women had already had a, we had already experienced each other. So now you with your partner because they want to do something. They want to get freaky too, you know, and we don't want anyone to know how freaky you were. You've already been freaking. So... <laughs> You, it's like <laughs> you can get in so much trouble. My 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 big no no was that I had already experienced a woman and try to act like I didn't. Oh, like it was the first time. Right, <laughs> right, right. See that? See now, you you I was wrong. Just All wrong. All the day way, long. Like, incorrect. Wrong. Right. Just bad. Yeah. So. So with and uh, without going into the you know total horrors of things, um, I wouldn't uh, recommend it for most people. Uh, very few I've seen very few couples who can really carry it off. And yes, yeah. you, you know, and like I said, you know, this is the eighties, the nineties, and all that. You know, long ago and far away, we've changed. Um, I've changed some of my uh, opinions about it only because I've lived longer and I've been able to see the end product of what started off as uh, shits and giggles and fun on the run. Right. Okay, yes, I said shits and giggles and <laughs> fun on the run. Whatever you, however you want to cate- uh, categorize it, um, it was, um, though I have no regrets, I'm just in the in the big picture of my life. I have no regrets. I'm, I'm glad I've done it and not, and, and as opposed to not having done it, not to mention experienced it several times. Mm-hmm. So you know how you just like, Mm, let me see. Do I like apple pie, coconut pie, or peach cobbler? Well, you got to you know what I mean? And if you got to choose, you keep eating all three of them. So you just say, I know for a fact, it's peach cobbler. Not only is it peach cobbler, I'm glad it's, to, that's the only thing I ever need from, you know, here on. I mean, maybe a silly um, analogy. An analogy, but it worked for me. So my thing right. is, I don't need three pies on the table. Okay, I only need one. Okay, now, 
<laughs> Why are you smiling? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm listening to your story, but you're bringing up some great points okay. too. Because one of the things you said, but you know, without saying, is that you know when three people are together, more than likely one is going to be left out, or or not included as much as much. I, I don't well, want to say totally I mean, left, left, left out. Yeah, well, but I'm I mean, just saying you women, you can still be in, just not having as much fun right. as they did. You know, right. there's always one that gets up first and then, well, look, let me go get more drinks. Let me go get some ice. Y'all look like y'all into it. Right, 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 exactly. You know, so I, I ain't mad because I'm still. I got an invitation to the party, but I didn't have as much fun as you did. Right. right? It's as simple as that. So you're not left out, but you surely didn't groove like they did because they like, okay, when can we do this again? Look at your calendar. I'm free every third Friday. Yeah, yeah. Well, now. Right. How does exactly. that impact y'all anniversary that's coming up in exactly. two months? Exactly. <laughs> that's you, what I'm saying. Yeah, and that's why I was just saying you were making some, some good points, whereas, you know, uh you don't want to leave anybody out. I mean, but it's hard not to when it's three people involved. Like, somebody is just going to be left out. See, like, and, and I'm going to push back on you. If you were in the room, you know, it's, it's, it, I'm serious. If you was in the room, you, 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 you all were there. Okay, now, was you uh, as active or as happy as or as committed as the other people were? Whatever, because, like, you know, the two of them can go to town like, you know, is this your act? You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, y'all act like y'all have known each other <laughs> before, you know? And so now you got the thumps because you like, well, I had fun, but y'all had more fun. Right. Right. That's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. I'm, I don't, I'm not crazy about the word feeling left out. Oh, you were there. Ain't my fault. It's like we all go to the circus. You know, one of us going to enjoy it more than the other. Like, hey, I thought the cr- the clown was crazy. Everybody else, but did you see the trapeze? And did you see the elephants? And somebody is really going to have a fun filled day at the circus. Ain't my fault that you sat over there and ate pop- uh, popcorn and made faces at the clown. Right. Right? right. That, that's all I'm saying. So there is danger. Uh, danger. Um, there's... It's, responsibility that must be had by all parties absolutely and you brought up a good point you know like what do you do afterwards you know what i mean do we change the way we communicate with the person you know they used to come over for breakfast now now they coming over for dinner too because they hope we want to do that thing again and right. they, and again once and you somebody need to have the conversation with them yeah abso- even before and, and after. after yeah and let's not even talk about you know you've seen our video what about the safe sex? You know what your wife is doing. Oh, you know what your, your what I call it, your, your guest spouse, lover, whomever. Your, your, whoever you, you know, loving on, you know, hopefully, what, you know, what their history is, you know, but now you got to interview this babe, you know right. what I mean? Because you know what's going down with you and your wife, but I don't know her. I know her, we know her, but we don't know her like that. And be- even if it's a close friend that you may know and, and be okay with, but that's that's what I'm saying. Personally, I think you should get someone that neither one of you all know. Mm. Probably would never see them again because okay. that, I think, helps with, you know, the whole, okay, why is she coming around? Why is she acting like that? It ain't going to be no like, aftermath. Right, yeah. right, right, right. It's like one of them things. And I know that's probably hard to do, but also if your wife wants a threesome and you don't necessarily do for both parties, you have to respect each other's, um, each other's, um, opinion about it, you know, because if it happens or if it doesn't happen, you still need to respect the fact that, okay, my wife told me the truth. She did not want it. Okay. Now what do I need to do? Um, to mm-hmm. satisfy my ego or whatever, because mm-hmm. I still need to respect her, right. her, you know, opinion of, of not wanting to, to do that. So, I mean, all of those are and if hardcore no, oh, conversations. Station, yeah. And if it's no for me, does it mean it's no for us? Right. Like you said, she's still there, you know, like, I ain't gonna bust you, but what Miss Sharon, being though you done been to the other side of the world and came back three times and did all kind of stuff in between. Right. And you're just like, hey, I just want to do this. You yeah. know, I've been, worried, us, I've been, you know, so so different. Yeah. But who am I to say, no, you don't want to do that? Well, th- that's well, my you opinion. Can, but I, yeah, I could say it, but that, yeah. that doesn't mean. But I don't get to speak for you Absolutely. and your feelings on that because your feelings are your own. And yes, we are a couple, and yes, we are married. But you still have you still think for yourself, right? As simple as but that. But then again, too, with us because of the age difference, is like okay. When I was her age, I was there too. 
You know yes, what I'm saying? And exactly. I'm just not there anymore, but I, I understand where she's coming from. And so I do. That and makes I it easier for us to have that conversation because a lot of the things you do respect and understand what I'm going through, even with the whole menopause, menopause you've been thing. there. Sure, sure. Even with this whole gallbladder surgery, I've been, been there. there. <laughs> you know, so... You, done a lot of living, right? Yeah, yeah. So it yeah. makes it easier for us to have those conversations. But if you're in a relationship where it is not that way, you really need to just, even if you got to write down the pros and cons and just look at them on the paper to say, eh, yeah, it's yeah. probably not going to be the best for our relationship, especially right. if you're struggling already. Because some people think adding a, a, another, another person, person or a spice to the relationship is going to mm-hmm. make it better. It's like, no, let's talk about what it is. That, now you struggling. have a uh, already dysfunctional relationship, and now it's spicy and dysfunctional. Yeah, it, That's it, all it, that is, because y'all still got problems and issues that y'all got some homework to do. Right. And, I, right. and like I said at the beginning, we're not giving advice. Y'all do whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't take our advice. I'm just telling you when, you know, for me, um, when mm-hmm. it happened mm-hmm. uh, with me, Years ago. I felt, years ago. Yeah. Yeah. We told him that already. No, okay. no, I just want to be clear. I want to be very clear. I'm not this having not. the threes I'm on sharing. I ain't sleeping with nobody else. So let's just clear that. But when it happened Ooh, to me years she likes ago, living. back in college, <laughs> let me just put it that way, um, I, I, I did feel a little, uh, because um, I had messed with the woman already. Mm-hmm. And like Sharon was saying, you know, kind of been there and had done that. And so, and it was my boyfriend that we were with. But when I woke up that morning, they had like sex on their own, mm-hmm. you know, without me. Because I'm like, why is she on the sofa naked? And, you know, like I was trying to... That's not how you left them. Right, right. Because right, right. that's not how we went to sleep. So so I was feeling a little, you know, like, oh, why they trying to do something extra? But, and, and, that, <laughs> and that was the thing because we didn't have that conversation. Decision. We just thought it was going to be fun. You know, we young. We just thought it was going to be fun and whatever. Yeah. And... And and it just it just it just then, turned out then, different, right? Right, and then he realized. Um, perhaps I'm not speaking for you, but perhaps the uh, other the the third person, female, was in her feelings about things. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. And and which well, may me have and had, mine. I was kind of right, in my right. feelings. Like, all right, all of you for different reasons. You know what I mean? It just right. So, yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah, but no regrets. Oh well, no regrets. No, no regrets. I'm glad you know I at least tried that uh, part at that time in my life. Um, and you know, well, okay, but uh, but going back to today's uh, topic at hand, to people in lesbian land, um, <laughs> I'm just saying, you all, if if it's something that you haven't done and it's something you want to do, just please have the conversation. Please have the conversation because even if you talk about it and be open and honest, because afterwards you'll be like, well, I know I said that, but you know, I really now. didn't feel you that know, or like, whatever. Right. It's like, right. hey, don't, don't yeah. try to go there. Don't I was to trying to do what I thought you wanted me to, right. to do. Exactly. And that's what you heard while you heard what you heard. <laughs> but that ain't, I said it, but that ain't what I meant. You know, all that crazy conversation. Yeah, you know? exactly. So yeah, be careful. And, um, as Rosa said, we're definitely not pushing it. No pros and cons with it, you know what I mean? But it's just like, it, you know, it, it's a personal thing. Everyone, if someone's thinking about it, um, think about it, think about it again, and then one more time. Right. And not to mention, you know, what your partner is, uh, you know, going through as well. So, you know, we wish you the best of luck for the, with, the, with that one. Absolutely. Um, it was something else. So, mm, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm about five minutes delayed today in my mind. It's something that you said, like, what do you do afterwards? You know what I mean? Like, there's a, there are three people who was liking each other, caring for each other, good friends, evidently, because you're not, perhaps, I'm speaking for you, you, this is not a stranger in your life. Right. Right. But, you know, my concern is, like I say, the safe sex, uh, the emotional part. What do you, what do, you do now, uh, forever? You know, like, you done messed it up for everybody, or yeah. maybe things got even better. And then what happens if they got along so well and even better than y'all did? Now she's looking at your partner like, you know, we can drop Sandy. We can right. drop Sheila. We can drop Mary. You know? Right. That's you so know, true. Us is going to be us. And you, now you with that partner. But anyway, that's a whole nother issue. But one other thing I wanted to say, too, is when you're having the conversation, talk about the boundaries. If you don't want your wife going down on somebody else, 
because that to me is like a whole nother oh that's you know, personal yeah because yeah. it's like i'm not kissing you after you don't went down on sheila or you yeah. know she whoever I'm just saying. Which goes back to preferences and safe sex and all and boundaries. And your and boundaries. boundaries. Respect yeah. those boundaries. Because when you get in there, like, I told you not to go down and you went down on it. And that's a whole argument and, you know, distrust and all of that. Now so. you done messed up Valentine's <laughs> Day. Oh, I would have gotten you a bigger one, but uh, you did something I told you. You don't right. even do to me. Exactly. What the, you act like <laughs> you know where everything was. <laughs> Now you know my wife's uh, uh, birthmark. Exactly. And you know, like, oh, whoa, those real? Yeah. Okay. But anyhow, so that, that's this is not advice. This is just two lesbians talking about who are in a long-term relationship. We are, you know, dare I say, happily married. And uh, there's so much out there, uh, the good, the bad, the fun, the, the crazy, you know, but whatever you do, be careful and, 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 you know, think about it twice and then three times, but have the conversation t- with all Right. Who, who will be or have been invo- evolved, right. uh, involved because uh, things can change quickly. Very quickly. quickly. And even though y'all were going in the room just to have big fun, you know what I mean? Um, you know, six months later, ain't, you know, people done broke up, moved away. I ain't talking to her if I never see them again. And, blah, blah, and then people are like, well, what happened to that? I thought they were friends. Girl, <laughs> I heard they were. What? <laughs> Yeah, I you know, know how we, we do. <laughs> we talking about you at the club. Like, I, look, I knew she was crazy, but I didn't know the other one was. What? You know, what? I thought they were doing good. Yeah, they had just bought the house. Mm. Over. Right. Over. <laughs> so, yeah, be careful. Be aware. Uh, do um, think about um, the dynamics and all the people who are involved and you know, uh, you might very well, and, and we haven't discussed this part, but after a, a couple of very good conversations with you and your partner, you may decide that ain't what y'all want to do. Right. You know, oh, I ain't never thought about that. Oh, you, you know, because exactly. you didn't. Right. You, not only have you not done you truly have not thought this all the way through. Right. And even when things turn out okay, because, you know, she, you, you happy, she snappy, and the other one's bold, wonderful. But when does it stop? Yeah. Because and if you don't stop it, and now things are morphing into a whole different um, scenario. Right. Whew. It wears me out to even talk about it. Because, <laughs> no, because it's real. Because and it's it, a lot it, of uh, moving parts in a sense. Whereas yes, so yes. many different conversations need to be held. So many different feelings have to you have to take into account for that. You have to take into account for who. Y'all gonna agree on? Is this a lot? Yeah. Okay. Now. Okay. The older one here just came to me. Something else I wanted to, to say. When you said, "Well, it's important that you be honest," you can be incredibly honest and and uh, incredibly real and upfront. That does not guarantee okayness. It does no, not. No, it guarantee. doesn't. But it will no. at least let the other person no. know. Right. How you thinking? Exactly. What you thinking? And right. they and they would have known going in. Right, because I mean, because the other part was like, well, I told her she knew, but knowing it doesn't make you yeah. right. It just makes what your feelings be known. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's like telling somebody, I I told her she ever did it again. I was gonna shoot her for a time. Oh, so it's okay that you shot her because you told her it would happen. You're still guilty of shooting somebody for four times. Right. That's all I'm saying. So mm, analogy number two. But I think I'm good with this. Mm-hmm. Are you? Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Ooh, didn't expect to go there about that, but uh, <laughs> it ain't for everybody. But like again, but uh, to our lesbian sisters uh, all over the world and wherever you guys are with your relationships, um, ooh, we sending you our best. As always, we're wishing you the very best of all good things. Stay safe and stay woke. And have that hard conversation about the threesomes. Ooh, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Good luck with that. Oh, yeah. Give us the tea. <laughs> we yeah. love you. Stay healthy. <laughs>